Hi, my name is Alan Prost and uh, I'm going to give you a little demonstration and an introduction to the Medisoft ErgoCard Pony Function Machine. So this is a pretty comprehensive pony function machine. It's capable of doing both uh, simple spirometry as well as nitrogen washout, DLCO, single bath nitrogen washout. It can also be used as a uh, basal metabolic unit and a stress testing unit. I'm not going to talk about that too much today. All I'm going to show you how to do is basically how to get the software up and running and how to do a calibration. So let's take a quick look here. First thing you need to do is we got to click on the Xpire software, get that running. Now while that's warming up, I'm going to show you that uh, here is our basic uh, gas analyzing unit. That's what we, the device uses to analyze all the exhaled gases. And if you get right in here, you can see that it's got set up here for different gases coming in, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So let's get basically orientated in this cart. We've got the computer down in here, all right? All the gas controllers and everything are all within the gas analyzer. In the back here, you can see there's different cylinders, things like that that we've got to hook up. We've got our uh, test gases. We also have to have uh, oxygen and the specialty gas mixture for doing tests like the uh, nitrogen washout and DLCO. So they plug into the back of the unit here and it's important that you realize that we've got this zero adjustment unit here and where the gases plug in and at specific pressures. All right, I'll show you this unit here in just a second. So there's not too much to see at the back here. It is important that the gas analyzer be turned on and warmed up prior to use or calibration. So here's our basic introductory screen for the use, and it always opens up in here. And what we're going to do today, the first thing we're going to do is going to do a calibration. If you're going to enter patient data, you'd select that here. If you're going to do a basic pulmonary function test, we're going to select that right through here. All right? So you'll get orientated to that software as we get going. So I'm going to start a um, basic calibration in just a second here. Now the heart of the ergo card is the spirometer and that's this pneumotac right here. Now the way this works is that we have a known resistance inside the unit like this and we're going to measure the pressure drop against across that known resistance. That pressure drop is measured inside very accurate uh, pressure transducers right here within the unit. All right? Gives you a little red dot to show you which side goes towards the patient and this little port here is going to be important for some other tests because that's where we're going to hook up um, our gas sampling line when we do tests like the nitrogen washout, things like that. So we're going to need to have this hooked up just like this when you're sampling gases that are going to and from your patient. So we'll put that back in the cow position right now. That's where it has to start when you're doing your calibrations. Okay, so here's our little pneumotac. I just got a little safety spot to hold that there. And those tubes hook up here right into the ergo card, and it's important they're color coded to make sure that the pitot tube is working correctly. And we're going to calibrate that in just a second. Another part of the uh, this device is the gas controlling unit, and that's this unit right here. So when you're doing tests like the uh, nitrogen washout and the DLCO, you're going to put this together like this, and we're going to have our patient's uh, filter. And that will be attached just like this. So this would be the unit that we would use for specialty testing like a nitrogen washout or a DLCO or a single breath nitrogen washout. So any of the specialty tests where the gas control unit, which is this part right here, and this little regulator are needed to control the gases that the patient breathes in and out. All right? There's a little slider valve inside here that controls which gases the patient's going to be breathing. All right. But for basic spirometry, we don't need to use that unit, all right? We just need to use this, and we hook this up to our patient filter just like that, and they can hold this and breathe through that to get their pulmonary function tests, all right? So now I'm going to show you how we would actually calibrate this device right here. All right, so come over to our software. Here's our computer screen, and what we're concerned about here is we're going to do a quick calib we're going to do a calibration. All right, we're going to do a new calibration. So we'll talk about new. All right. 
And it comes up here now. Now, uh, one of the peculiarities of this particular setup we've got here today is that we need to um, have this set to pitot tube with filter. All right. So we need pitot tube with filter established on that. Once we get into this here, it shows us our calibration screen. And you notice highlighted is the low flow cal. So initially, we're just going to be doing these little low flow calibrations and then it'll click over into the high flow the first round it doesn't observe anything it just uh, gives us like a practice warm-up round okay. so I'll sit you there just like that and you can watch us do our calibration here so I've got our calibration syringe set up right here All right, and I'm going to be watching this screen hook up our pneumotac so it's hooked up just like it would be with a patient. All right, except, of course, we've got the calibration syringe on here. Now, this is a very precisely um, controlled three liter syringe. Make sure we don't have any kinks in our tubing or anything like that, no little tears or anything. So, now, when I go in here, initially we're going to do a calibration. It's really important to make sure I set up the temperature. So, the temperature is set already. It's, I've got it at um, 21 degrees. The barometric pressure today is 661. The humidity is 29%. So I'm going to set all those basic parameters up. Okay. And now we're ready to go. All right. So I'm going to hit Peter tube with filter and calibrate. So initially, like a lot of pneumotax, it doesn't want any air going through the pneumotax. That's why it gives you that little X. Now it says, get ready and withdraw. So we're doing our low flow. So as I pull back gently, the goal is just to have those blue bars just in about the middle of the screen. So that's inspiration. And that gives us a flow rate of about, oh, about one liter per second, all right? Both on inspiration and exhalation. Now it ignores the first one, and then after this, you're gonna see little bars come up here. So let's just keep going. Here's our second one, and here's our third one. All right, so now you see I'm getting bars coming across here for inspiration and exhalation, and they're both green, showing me that this meets our ATS criteria of plus or minus 3%. But we're not finished yet. We've gotta do four, to do our complete calibration procedure. So it told me there I was supposed to go a little slower with my flow rate, so it didn't count that one. Little practice there helps out. Nice, easy slopes. So what we're doing right now is we're calibrating this for very low flow rates. And of course, that's the most challenging part for a pneumotac to be calibrated at is low flow rates. So I'm going to have to just do one more at the low flow rate. And then we'll be able to do our high flows. So now we've done our low flow, and they're all within calibration. Now it says do the high flow, OK? So we've got to do four equate high flows. And the goal, again, is to get the blue uh, kind of squares about halfway in. And so you can see you got to be quite vigorous to do the high flow calibration. So we've done those a few times. Now you got to do four at each one. Okay, so it says okay. I get a green light that we're calibrated appropriately. Okay, so we've got two green lights. So what this shows me is that I've done a high and a low flow calibration. But now what I've got to do is verify to make sure that it's working effectively. So it switches over now and it shows me just these yellow bars. And now I have to get my flow rate at low, medium, and high, and then it'll measure the volumes to make sure that it's working correctly, all right? So we just have to know now that we've got to do low, medium, and high flow rates. And low flow rates are about one liter per second, medium flow rates about five to six, high flow rates about eight to 10 liters per second. Okay, so let's try this now. It always ignores our first uh, strokes. So there's my, and just nice, gentle, even strokes now. There's no criteria here. The computer doesn't tell you what to do. It doesn't know 
It says, I'm just measuring the flow rate and the volume. We'll see how it goes. So here at very low flow rates, I get adequate volumes to measure me almost exactly three liters. So let's try it at a medium flow rate. All right, now that was a little out of range because I think I kind of, I might have jerked a little bit as I was pulling back on that. So let's try that again. And of course, as I'm gonna demonstrate this today, I'm gonna to be having all kinds of problems. So I've got a couple of red bars there that show me that maybe potentially I've got a little leak in my system or something might not be working quite right. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna verify this some more. All right, so those ones right in on my three liters plus or minus three percent. So now, that's at my high flow, so I've got, I've verified it at low flow and high flow. So I print out this test report and sign off that it's been calibrated and verified. Stop that, We're okay. We can always recall that at a later time, All right? So that wasn't the best cow in the world. I'm not just sure. I'm gonna have to check this over a little bit later. But that's the basic introduction and procedures for verifying the performance of our Pneumotac with the Medisoft Ergo card. Once I've finished that, I can close this screen and start doing my pulmonary function testing, entering my patient data. Thank you very much. I'm Alan Probst.